careful. Careful, dude. Careful. Careful, dude. Careful. Shut up, Joseph. I got it. I'm sorry, dude. I'm sorry. Okay. I got it! Oh, dude, that was so close. I know, I didn't think I was gonna get it. I'm so happy we're playing Jenga. Yeah, money Jenga. All right, Richard, it's your turn. All right, which piece do I wanna go for? Uh, oh, this one. Oh, be careful, uh, be careful. Uh, oh, 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 you lose! Actually, it looks like I'm winning. All right, guys, what game do you wanna play next? How about we play hide and seek? Okay, yeah, I love hide and yeah, seek. I'm really good at hide and seek, dude. I'll be it, I'll be it. Okay, I'm gonna count you guys hide. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, ready or not, here I come. All right, guys, I'm gonna find you. I just don't know where they're at. <laughs> Joseph, are you behind the teddy bear? No. Where could he be? <laughs> Joseph, are you inside the popcorn container? No. Where could he be? <laughs> Joseph. Oh man, how'd you find me, dude? You were making a lot of noise. No, -uh, I was quiet as a mouse. Okay, I gotta find Richard now. Richard? Richard? <sighs> cha -ching! Ugh, I'm allergic to your poor air! Well, I found you, Richard! So that's it, uh, that means Joseph, you're it since I found you first! Aw, oh, man! Alright, I'm gonna go hide. Wait, who's that? I'm gonna go answer the door. Hello? Hey there, I'm here to pick up my son, Richard. Okay. Richard, your dad's here! Oh, thank God. Thanks for picking me up, Dad. It's so poor here! My allergies were acting up. Oh, and by the way, Junior, I accidentally clogged your toilet. Sorry. But you clogged my toilet? Wait, you clogged this toilet? Yeah, I accidentally used too much money when I was wiping. Too much money when you were wiping? You know you're only supposed to use one bill at a time? Show me! All right, right this way. See, Dad? There it is. That's it, mister! You are grounded! Grounded for what? You know you're only supposed to use one bill when you wipe, and you're wiping like we have endless amounts of money! Which we do, but you need to learn the value of money. So I think you need to get a job. A job? You poor! Yeah, that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna get you a job, and I think you need to work at McDonald's. McDonald's? Ew! Poor people food! Now you get over here and let me smack those stupid AirPods out of your stupid head. Come here. Come on, give me the other side. Come on. Alright, you'll get those AirPods back when you've earned them. Now let's go to McDonald's. Welcome to your first day at McDonald's. How you feeling? Poor. Exactly. That's how we all feel until we start making $15 an hour, then we'd be lower middle class. Well, how much am I making now? $8.45 an hour. $845 an hour? That's not too bad. No, 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 my silly white boy. $8.45. Ew, poor. Exactly. Let me show you the food layout. See, we got hamburgers right here, nuggets there, french fries, lettuce, and tomatoes. See, all this stuff was already made yesterday, okay? We just leave it out to give it flavor. And this stuff right here is the stuff people return. See, we just keep passing out the window till somebody accepts it. Now let me show you how to make a burger. On a traditional burger, you got meat, cheese, lettuce, tomatoes, ketchup, mustard, and mayonnaise. See, I know that's a lot, but I got a song to help you remember. First you add the meat, then you add the cheese, don't forget the lettuce, then you add tomatoes, ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise, ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise, ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise, ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise. You've got to be kidding me. No, 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 it's very catchy. Come on, sing it with me. First you add the meat, then you add the cheese, don't forget the lettuce, then you add tomatoes, ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise, ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise, ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise. I'm not singing that poor song. Do you want to get paid? <sighs> yeah. Come on, sing it with me. First, First you add the meat, meat then, then you add the cheese. cheese. Don't, Don't forget, forget the lettuce, lettuce then, then you add tomatoes. Ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise, ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise, ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise. Ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise. Yeah. Ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise. White boy got rid of them. Somebody at the drive-thru. Okay, get ready to make a sandwich, and don't forget the song, all right? All right. Oh, uh, hello, I'm ready to order. <sighs> Another one. Don't be throwing bananas in my drive-thru. Uh, I'm ready to order. What you want? Uh, can I get, uh... You ready to order? Yeah. Can I get a 10-piece nugget, drop fresh, a large fry with no salt, also drop fresh, with salt packets in the bag, a plain cheeseburger, and an ice cream cone. Uh, ice cream machine, bro. Mm-hmm, of course it is. Well, then in that case, I'll just take Kool-Aid to drink. Man, we don't sell Kool-Aid. We only got high C. Oh, I can see that you high, because your ice cream machine always broke. Look, is that all you want, ma'am? Yeah. All right, your total is 1738 All right, you accept EBT? No. You accept food styles? No. Hmm. Well, then can I get your discount? Look, it's my, it's my discount, ma'am. Look, look, can you please pull up for it so I we can get your food? I ain't pulling up for it. There ain't nobody behind me. 
God. Look, look, I'll have your food in a minute, ma'am. And they want $15 an hour. Yeah, you slam that window. All right, Rashad, what we have- My name's Richard. Listen, Rashad, I'm trying to teach you something. Look, what we have here is what we call a bad customer. You can tell from a mile away, it's a dead giveaway. You can tell by the, by the color, the color of their car. Their car? Yeah, yeah, she was driving a red car. People who drive red cars are always mad. Something about the color red. But uh, do you know what we do to bad customers? What? <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Now she wanted a burger and some nuggets and fries dropped. So can you drop them on the ground and take 10 minutes doing it? She also wanted an ice cream cone, but uh, we always tell the customers that the ice cream machine is broken. To be honest with you, we don't even have an ice cream machine. I don't even know why it's on the menu. But uh, get to making her food and I'll be right back. Okay. All right. What do I do again? Oh, oh yeah, the song. Uh, something about the meat, then you grab some nuggets, how about some fries, don't forget the tomatoes, uh, ketchup, 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 all right, I'm done. Let me see how you did. Boy, what, what is this? It's a cheeseburger. The song, boy, the song. I sing the song. You got a lot to learn. Let me just wrap this up and give it to her. Okay. What take you so long? Hey, what I told you about throwing bananas in my drive through Look, look, here's your food, ma'am. My food hit the ground. I'm gonna need you to make me some more. Look, I'm not making another burger for you, lady. Well, I also had nuggets and fries. Look, just have a good day, okay? Let me speak to your manager. I am the manager. All right, then, well, let me speak to the owner. Look, if you want to talk to the owner, how about you call old McDonald himself? He live on the farm, E-I-E-I-O. Well, I'll do you one better. I'll call Mayor McCheese. Well, call Mayor McCheese, then. All right, this ain't the last you heard of me, and they want $15 out. Get out of my drive through lady. I'm leaving. I'm leaving, and I'm going to take my uncle down the two. <sighs> All right, Randy. I want you to work the drive through because I am scratched. How do I do that? Oh, it's super simple. They're going to pull up to the window. You say what real mean because it's inconvenient for you to take their order even though you work here. Now, they're going to give you their order. You make sure you get it wrong because we want them to come back. They're going to say they're not going to come back, but we're McDonald's. We got dollar burgers and we're open 24-7. So uh, go to the window and get to working. My name is Richard. Come on, Randy. Just go to the window. <sighs> okay. God. All right, work in the drive-thru. At least I don't have to touch that poor people food. Can I have some food? Ew, did you sneeze on the window? I'm hungry. Oh, you're hungry? Well, do you have money? No. Well, then what are you going to give me for food? Tomato. Ew, I don't want your poor tomato. We don't accept tomatoes here. I'm, I'm hungry. Well, shoot, get out of here. Shoot. Ew, poor. Ugh. Raymond, did I just see you spray Windex at one of our customers? Yeah, because he was poor. <sighs> Raymond, Raymond, Raymond. Look, all of our customers are poor. You just can't spray them with Windex, though. How about we have the perfect conversation you're supposed to have at the window? You be the driver, I'll be me. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. In my Lamborghini. Whatever. <sighs> what do you want? Why aren't you at Burger King? Why are you ordering here? Can I get a cheeseburger? A cheeseburger? <sighs> Windex is right down the street. All right, just pull up to the next window. See, it's that simple. See, now, you don't have to spray people with Windex, okay? Yeah, let's forget my order wrong. And you want $15 out. You know what, go, go, go ahead of the burgers, I got this. Did you just throw something at me? Uh-huh, I bought a tomato from a homeless man because I ran out of bananas. What do you want from me, lady? I just want my order right because my booger had nuggets and fries on it. Ain't that what you wanted? No, I wanted it all separately. You know what, look, here's your tomato back. All right, scram, lady. Oh, and you want $15? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. $15 an hour. <sighs> All right, Ryan. I don't know how much longer I can work here. Me either. Look, I'm dreaming of bigger and better things. Right? Like working at Chick-fil-A. But see, the customers here, it's so annoying. And poor. That too. <sighs> oh, another one. <sighs> what do you want? And can you please stop honking your horn? Hey. I stole my dad's car because he wouldn't bring me to get a Happy Meal. Cool, cool, cool. What do you want? Uh, can I get a cheeseburger Happy Meal with three toys? Uh, the Happy Meal only come with one toy. Well, I want three toys. You only getting one toy. How about three toys? It comes with one toy. Three toys! One toy! Three toys! Okay! Okay! Baby.
All right, Robbie, we got another bad customer at the drive-thru. You know how I knew? Because of the color of the car? Exactly. The color of the car was red, so you know he's gonna be mean. And he wanted a Happy Meal with three toys. Look, this ain't Toys R Us. I'm not giving him all them toys. You know what we're gonna do to his food? We're gonna spit in the food? Bingo. You learn it, Robbie. Okay, so uh, fix the food and remember the song, okay? Okay. All right, the song. Uh, sometimes there's meat, bunch of bunch of cheese, lot of lot of lettuce, uh, a couple chicken nuggets, maybe a few tomatoes, um, ketchup, 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 maybe the whole thing. Uh, mustard, 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 mustard. Uh, okay, that looks good. All right, it's ready. Let me check the Happy Meal and see how you did. Wait, Rachel, you're not supposed to give them all the ketchup and mustard. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, it's okay, it's okay. Uh, let me get him a drink. Yeah. Where's my Happy Meal? Oh, here's your Happy Meal with the three toys. Oh, thank you. You're not welcome. Baby. Oh. All right, Rufus. I'm going to end your shift early today since it's your first day. What does that mean? That means you get to go home. Oh, thank God. Charles, come pick me up in the helicopter. All right, I'm going to get your check, and then you can go home, okay? How much money did I make? Well, you only worked for like 10 minutes, so uh, you made about 75 cents. Ew, poor. <laughs> welcome to the club. Oh, Dad, I'm back from work. Wait a minute. Ew, you smell poor. I know, but I got paid. Hold on, let me see that. 75 cents. Congratulations, you've made enough money to buy three gumballs. Oh, Dad, I have a confession to make. I don't want to be poor. I don't want to work at poor restaurants anymore. And, and I'll even wipe my butt with 20s. Listen, son, you don't have to wipe your butt with 20s. That would be a disgrace to the Goodman name. We only wipe our butts with hundreds. But the fact that you said that you would wipe your butt with 20s shows that you appreciate money now. So let's go home and get out of this weird poor person's house. Oh, thank you, Dad. I love you so much. I love you too, son. Let's go. Whatever Jeffy says, you have to do it. I'm not playing this game. Come on, Marvin. It'll be fun. He's going to make us do something stupid. No, he won't. And the loser has to pay me 100 bucks. What? Jeffy says, raise your left hand. Jeffy says, put it down. Jeffy says, go, ooh, 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 ooh. Jeffy says, go, ooh, 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 Jeffy says, say, pee, pee. Pee pee. Jeffy says, give me 50 bucks. What? No, Jeffy. Do you want to lose and you have to pay me 100? <sighs> Here's your 50. Jeffy says, pee pee. Jeffy says, jump up and down. Jeffy says, yeah, keep doing that. Ugh, I'm getting tired, Jeffy. Okay, stop. Oh, thank God. Ha, ah, you lose. You lose, Marvin. You have to pay him 100 bucks. Well, well, why'd I lose? Because I didn't say, Jeffy says, stop doing that. And you stopped before I did that. But I thought I was supposed to do everything you said, and I, I did what you said, and... Well, now you gotta give me 100 bucks. Ugh. Here's your $100, Jeffy. Leave. He just made $200. He just conned us out of $200. I'm tired. My phone's ringing. Hello? Hey, Marvin. What? Goodman, why are you calling me? I was calling because I wanted to see if you had your house payment this month before I drove all the way over to your house just for you to tell me no, because this is becoming a common trend with you. Well, I don't have my house payment this month, but because I gave my son $150. <sighs> Marvin, I need you to come over to my house right now. What, for what? I need you to come over to my house. Don't ask questions, Marvin. I'll send you the address. Uh, okay. Who is that, Marvin? It's Goodman. He wants me to come to his house. Why? Uh, he's probably going to yell at me. So just, I'll be back. Okay. Uh, I think this is the right house. Yes, hello? Um, Goodman wanted to see me? Ah, very good. He's in the living room. Please, go take a seat. Okay. This is a really nice house. Uh, excuse me, ma'am? Have you seen Goodman? Hey, Marvin. What, Goodman? Why are you dressed like a woman? I'm not Mr. Goodman. I'm Mrs. Goodman, as evidenced by the tits. Oh. You want to squeeze them? No, 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 no. I, I don't want to squeeze them. Oh, em. come on, Marvin. I can tell you want to squeeze them. No, no, I really don't. They're brand new and they're fake. Dr. Burton did the job. That's, that, 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 that's really nice, but I'm just here to talk to Goodman, which... Uh, Marvin, you've been playing cat and mouse with me ever since you got here. At least feel them. Do I have to? I insist. I mean, they are really nice. Marvin, are you in here touching my wife's boobies? Uh, Goodman, I, I thought you were... I leave my wife for three minutes in my own house. 
house and you want to come in here and start touching her cans? Well, she, 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 she told me to do it. I didn't, honey. He's a pervert. Morgan, you get the hell out of my house before I call the cops. I thought you wanted to talk to me. That was before you assaulted my wife. Now get out! Uh, 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 okay. <sighs> hey, Marvin, did Goodman yell at you? Oh, yeah, he did. Why? Uh, Because I, I'm late on my house payment. But you're always late on the house payment. You know, he always gets mad. That's just Marvin, I cannot believe you. I cannot believe what you did. Why are you so upset he's always late on the house payment? It's not about the house payment. It's about him squeezing my wife's big fake titties. What? What are you talking about? Oh, yeah, I invited Marvin over to my house because I was going to lower his monthly house payment. And you know what he did? I walked into my living room and there he was squeezing my wife's big fake boobs. He was squeezing them so hard I think he partially deflated them. It was like he was milking a cow. Marvin, is this true? Well, I thought I was a man. You're sick, Marvin. How could you do this to me? Well, I, I didn't do anything to you. He didn't do anything to you, but he did a whole lot to my wife's big fake left tip. I can't believe you cheated on me. I didn't <laughs> cheat on you. She asked me to do it. Also, if a man asked me to kiss him and I do it, that's not cheating. But what if you thought the the, the, the girl uh, the man was a girl? You're uh, sick, Marvin! Sick! Marvin, my wife would never ask you to do anything like that. She's only loyal to me. Do you know how much plastic surgery I paid for for her to look just like me? Because the only thing that is attracted to me is myself? Well, well, Those tits cost me 20 grand, Marvin! What do you guys want me? What do you want me to do? What do y'all want me to do? You go over to that house and apologize to that poor woman! You want me to you want me to apologize to her for what? Yes, I think that's a perfect idea. Marvin, you will apologize to my wife for assaulting her. Well, I didn't assault her. <laughs> Marvin, you go over there right now if you want to save this marriage. You need to apologize to her. Okay, fine. I'll apologize to her, okay? That'll make everyone happy? Okay, I'll let her know that you're on the way. I'm gonna go apologize to her. So stop. Let's go! Okay. <sighs> I can't believe I have to do this. Hello? Uh, hey. Goodman said that you had something to tell me? Uh, I'm sorry for touching your boobies. It's okay. Come here, give me a hug. No, no, I don't want to. Marvin, are you motorboating my wife? Look at this. She, she hugged me. He's a pervert. What? Marvin, you get out of my house, you little horn dog. What the God damn it! <sighs> did you apologize, Marvin? Yes, I did. And what did she say? She gave me a hug. Aw, that's so sweet. Marvin, I cannot believe what you did this time! What happened now? Oh, I'll give you a hint. I picked up Marvin a sailor hat. Now, why would I get Marvin a sailor hat? Hmm, let's think about it. Maybe because when he came over to my house to apologize to my wife, I caught him motorboating her titties. What do you mean? I'll tell you exactly what I mean. Two giant cans. And he stuck his face betwixt them and shook his head violently and went like a motorboat. Marvin, how could you? That's Captain Marvin. Now wear your sailor hat. <laughs> That is not what happened, okay? I apologized to his wife, she gave me a hug, and my face went between her boobs. Marvin, that doesn't happen on accident! Well, you haven't seen how big they are! And you have! It's true! They're huge! Well, listen, it was an accident! You don't accidentally put your face between boobies and go... I did not make that noise! Yes, you did! Marvin, you need help! I agree! You need professional help, Marvin! What kind of help do I need? We're going to marriage counseling! But I didn't do anything wrong! I'm gonna go check on my wife! And I'm gonna call a Therapist. I didn't do anything. Oh. Hey there, somebody call a massage therapist? No, we called a marriage therapist. Oh, well, you can see my confusion. You know, marriage therapist, massage therapist, they sound pretty similar. But hey, I can do both. How about we just get massages because we don't have marriage problems? No, Marvin, you need help. Wait a minute, if you were going to give us massages, why are you in a robe? Oh, well I saw some videos online where the massage starts and then things start to get steamy and I heard a woman's voice on the phone, so I thought maybe my fantasies were coming true, but I guess that's not happening, so I can help you with your marriage. Well, we don't have marriage problems. Yes, we do! Oh, I have an idea. How about you give me a massage and I help you with your marriage? I'm not giving you a massage! No, Marvin, I think you should. Since you enjoy touching women so much, you should try touching men. Man, that one. Over there, go. Uh, okay, fine. I'll give a massage. That'll make you happy. What, really? It, okay. Uh Right, right there. Yeah, you feel that knot? Yeah, it's all my stress. Oh, okay, it's good. Yeah, so what's going on? I caught my husband cheating on me! Oh, good. No, no, not good. Like, good. Like, he's doing a good job with the massage. So he's cheating on you? I caught him twice! Oh, yeah. I, not, oh, yeah, like, oh, yeah, like the massage. So he cheated on you twice? Evidently, she has big cans! Oh, nice. No, not nice to the cans. Nice to the massage. He's just doing, oh, okay, that's, that's my butt. You're massaging my butt. Hold on, let me roll over. Get my pecs. There you go. A little bit lower. A little lower. Lower. 
What is that? <laughs> I pulled a Deshaun Watson on you. Ew! Uh, listen, just answer her marriage questions. Okay, so he's cheating on you with a woman with big cans, right? Yes! Have you ever considered getting a surgery so you have big cans? No! Well, maybe you should consider that. Listen, I did not cheat on her, and I'll tell you what happened. So, my, 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 there's this guy I owe money to, and I went over to his house, and I saw his wife, and she asked me to grab her boob, so I did, but I thought it was a man. What? Okay, yeah, I can see why that might cause problems for your relationship. But I thought it was a man, and she asked me to do it. So you just do whatever somebody asks you to do? Like, what if somebody asked your wife to grab their wiener and she did it? You wouldn't like that, right? But, but that would be wrong. Mine wasn't wrong because I thought it was a man. Okay, I see what's going on here. You're a manipulator. See, when you do it, it's not wrong, but when she does it, it's wrong. But no, mine wasn't wrong. If you weren't there, you should have been there. Okay, hold on. I have an idea. What? Okay, now I'm dressed like a woman with big cans. Why? To teach you to control yourself so you don't want to grab my motorboat. I don't want to do that. Good, that's a start. What did you make them out of? Oh, I used balloons and then I used Tic Tacs for the nipples. Those are Tic Tacs? Yeah, go ahead and touch them. Ha! Gotcha! Marvin! Oh, he said they were Tic Tacs and I wanted to see if they were. Oh, the wandering mind. What, if a girl tells you she's not wearing underwear, are you going to check? But no! Listen, baby, you know that's broken guy dressed like a woman and I just wanted to see if they were Tic Tacs. Look, I have an idea. Why don't I just call Goodman's wife, tell her to come over, you guys hide, and you see if she comes on to me or not. Oh, you just want to see your girlfriend! No, 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 I think this is a good idea to see if he's telling the truth. Yeah, and I will be telling the truth. And how about this? If I'm lying, you can divorce me. Okay, Marvin. Okay, that's a deal, so guys hide. I'm gonna call the wife. Oh, come on, Goodman, answer. What do you want, Marvin? Uh, hey, Goodman, listen. I have a plan to prove to you that I wasn't doing what you thought I did with your wife. I witnessed it with my own two eyes, Marvin. But listen, she came on to me, but I have an idea. How about you come over and you hide, and then we invite your wife over, and then when she comes over, you can hide and see that she tries to come on to me, and you'll know I'm not lying. You just want to squeeze them again. Well, no, 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 listen. If I'm lying, if she doesn't try to come on to me, I I'll, I'll be homeless. I'll live on the street. <sighs> Okay, Marvin. I guess I'll come over, and then I'll call my wife and tell her to come over a few minutes later. Okay, good. Hey, right, this is gonna work. All right, Marvin, where do you want me to hide? Uh, hide over there. Okay, my wife will be here any minute. Come on, Marvin, you got this. Oh, Marvin! Marvin, where are you, big boy? I'm right here. Oh, hey, Marvin. You called me over? Yeah, I just wanted to talk. Did you miss them? What? The jugulars. Did you miss them? No, no, I didn't miss them. You miss how they fell on your face? No. Get over here and smell them. What? Just smell them. Come here. Uh, I, listen, I just want to talk. Oh, okay. Well, how about before we talk, you bounce on them? What? Bounce on them? Bounce on them like a trampoline. Yeah, there you go. Like Cirque du Soleil. You ho! Oh, Goodman, it's not what it looks like. He came on to me. No, I heard the whole thing. And now you're on, out on the streets because you signed a prenup. <laughs> I'm sorry I ever doubted you, Marvin. I, I told you I never did anything wrong. You know what? This month, you don't owe a house payment. Oh, oh, th th thank you so much, Goodman. Thank you. Marvin, you were telling the truth. Yeah, he was. Those cans were huge. I would have squeezed them. I, I mean, uh, good job not cheating on your wife or whatever. Marvin, I'm so sorry for getting mad at you. It's okay, baby. Yeah, I guess I didn't have to dress like this after all. But since I am dressed like this, I guess I can earn a little extra money. You know, give some massages with happy endings. I mean, it's not gay if I use my hands. Shut up! Last time on Jeffy Ball Z, Jeffy collected all the Dragon Balls just for Brooklyn Guy to steal his wish. Will Jeffy get revenge? Does Brooklyn Guy have any powers at all? Let's find out. I'm gonna spirit bomb you! <laughs> oh yeah, not if I spirit bomb you first. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh shit, nothing's happening. Oh, I'm gonna get destroyed, aren't I? Baby duck! <laughs> Okay, all right, yeah, you kicked my ass. There you go, you can have your stupid outfit back. I'll be taking that. You really just wasted his wish on his stupid outfit just to give it back? Well, look, I thought by getting the outfit I'd get the powers too, but I guess it doesn't work like that. You just wasted a wish? We could have wished for a billion dollars or for Grand Theft Auto 6 to come out. Yeah, I know, I should have just wished for the powers. Look, I'm sorry, okay? I'll help you find the Dragon Balls. You'll help us find the Dragon Balls? Yeah, I'll go look for them, and if I find any, I'll bring them back here, and if you find any, you bring them back here too. Uh, okay. All right, Daddy, I'm gonna go look for some Dragon Oh, I hate this. Hmm, where are these Dragon Balls at? Oh, well, I need to get my power level up. I'm about to ride the F out of this ducky. Oh, oh 
you. Oh, yeah, that's you. Oh, yeah. Jeffy. <laughs> oh, hey, Junior. My name's not Junior anymore. It's Vegeta. Vagina? Why would you want to be called that? Well, no, no, not vagina. Vegeta. Oh, like the sizzling hot plates from Chili's that come out like pssst. No, th those are fajitas. My name's Vegeta. Virginia or West Virginia? But not Virginia, Vegeta! Oh, Vagina. What? No! Listen, where are the Dragon Balls at? Well, the only Dragon Balls are the Dragon Balls across your face. What? No! You're, not... you're gonna regret saying that. Yeah! Oh, Vagina, what was that for? I want to kill you because if I get rid of you, I'll be the only one looking for the Dragon Balls. Well, you can't kill me because I'm more powerful than you. We'll see about that. Get it. You're going to make me go Super Syndrome. <laughs> what are you doing? You messed up now. Any last words? You can't kill me. I'm the prince of all sayings. Oh, that's how the cookie crumbles. Now that he's gone, let's go find these Dragon Balls. Oh, man. I can't wait to eat my Apple Jacks. Mommy? Is that a Dragon Ball? Don't touch that Dragon Ball. It's mine. You'll never get my Dragon Ball, you monkey tail turd. <laughs> you take that back, you bitch. Oh, we're gonna have to fight for this Dragon Ball! With pleasure! <laughs> oh, oh, dude, that hurt! Oh, I'm gonna go King Kami on your ass! Wait till I use my special bean cannon! Oh, watch me charge up! Uh... Oh, hell no! I'm gonna charge up my special pee pee cannon! <laughs> <laughs> It's not fair, dude! You let me charge up! Uh. Oh, Daddy! He hit me! Had enough? Uh. Ow! Uh. You're trying to take my dragon ball! Uh. Don't break it! Uh. Oh, hey, 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 kids, break it up! Well, why are we fighting? Daddy, he took my dragon ball. The dragon ball was in my cereal! But I want it! Oh, okay, wait, how much do you want for it? Three bucks. Uh, three bucks? All right, look, there, there's three dollars. Take it. Ah, sucker. Oh, I win. All right, Jeffy, go get your, grab, your stupid Dragon Ball. I will. Finally, it's man. <laughs> I have returned after a long and treacherous journey through the depths of hell, conquering many adversaries and dodging many obstacles. I, Jeffy, have defeated the one they call Pinocchio, and I have obtained a single Ball of the Dragon. And none of this would have been possible if I didn't show great strength and power. I paid three dollars for this, Jeffy. And I thank you for that, Father, but I still need six more, so if you want to cough up some more change, we can get this ball rolling. Balloon tits. Well, Jeffy, isn't it your job to find it? But it's so hard, Daddy! Imagine dedicating your life to looking for balls. You have to eat, sleep, and breathe balls like a girl on OnlyFans. Look, Jeffy, just go find the other six ones. Aye, aye, Captain. <sighs> we should have done Naruto. <sighs> How did I lose to Jeffy? No! The Saiyans of legend were an invincible warrior race, and I am their son! And at long last, I have risen to claim my birthright. I have stepped into the ranks of greatness. All my life, I have worked towards this goal. And for what? To be brushed aside as easily as a common house fly by an android? A true Saiyan would not have fallen. Maybe I'm not who I think I am. Perhaps there are still new plateaus for me to reach. Far greater heights for which I must ascend. Yes, I will ascend. The universe will marvel and the- Dude, what the hell are you doing talking to yourself in your room? Huh, go to sleep! Shut the hell up, weirdo! Sorry, Dad. Like I was saying, there might be new plateaus I can reach. The universe- Junior, if you're gonna keep on talking to yourself like a weirdo, take out that damn trash, boy! You know what, Dad? Gun. What the hell? Don't do that weird stuff in my house. Oh, take out that damn trash. I'm not gonna repeat myself again. Okay, Dad. Ugh, ugh, just looking for something to eat. What type of apple is this? Ow, oh, that hurts my mouth. Ow, oh, that still hurts my mouth. Oh, stupid Dad. Doesn't understand that I'm a Saiyan God. Hey, kid, you wanna trade me something for this apple? <gasps> That's not an apple. That's a Dragon Ball. Give me that. No, you gotta trade me something for it. Uh, uh. 
Oh, how about I trade you this Gata gun? <laughs> oh, hell no. How about my Rudolph the Red Nose Ring? <laughs> <laughs> no one can beat a Saiyan god like me. What are you thinking? I have a balloon. Well, can I have it? No, 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 stop! Stop hitting me! Ugh. Hey, you popped my balloon. Oh, and now you're going down. <laughs> no one can beat me. Now give me that Dragon Ball. No! My apple! I've done it. I've gotten a Dragon Ball. Now, I must beat Jeffy to find me the other six Dragon Balls so I can wish to become the most powerful being in the universe. Not so fast, Vagina. Jeffy, what are you doing here? We're here to kick your ass, me and old Giraffe Tushy, and then we're gonna take that Dragon Ball. You're not getting this Dragon Ball unless you pry it from my cold, dead hands. Well, the dead part can be arranged. <laughs> you got me! He's so strong, but I'm stronger. You're no match for Giraffe Booty Hole. Come on, Giraffe, give me a big sink. Finally, I have two balls. Hey man, welcome to the Black Market Pawn Shop. What can I get you? Okay, well, uh, what I'm looking for is uh, pretty hard to find. Well, we are the black market pawn shop, so we have all kinds of sketchy shit. Just tell me what you're looking for and I'll tell you if we can accommodate you. Okay, well, uh, what I'm looking for is some balls. Whoa, man, no, 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 we're, we're not that kind of shop. We don't do that here. No, 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 not like that. Like, I, I, it's like these seven balls. What, I don't know what you're into, man, but you should probably get some help. No, not like that. Like, there's like, there's like seven balls and I just want to like rub them and make a wish. Okay, I think I need to ask you to leave. No, it's like, they're like dragon balls. Like seven dragon balls? Oh, we don't have seven dragon balls. Oh, well, I'm, I'm sorry for wasting your time then. We do have five, though. Wait, wait, really? You have five Dragon Balls? Yeah, but you wanted seven, so sorry, we don't have that. Well, no, no, I'll take the five Dragon Balls. It's fine. I'll take whatever you can give me. Hmm, that's kind of weird. Like, you wanted seven Dragon Balls, but now you want five? That's kind of fishy. No, 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 really. I, I can go find the other two. It's fine. Just give me the five Dragon Balls. Huh. But you see why that's weird, right? Like, you wanted seven Dragon Balls, and now you're going to settle for five? It's kind of like if you told me that you wanted a puzzle with seven pieces, and I told you I only had five, and you were fine with that, it's like... Like, you can't finish the puzzle, so so what's really going on? No, 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 look, it's up to me to finish the puzzle on my own, okay? Just just give me the Dragon Balls. Okay, fine, but uh, that's going to be $100. What? A hundred bucks? What? That is a ripoff! Oh, okay, I'll tell you what. I'm not going to give you any money until you show me some balls. And so, some, some Dragon Balls, not Dolphin Balls. All right, fine. Here are the goods. Oh, they are so beautiful. Okay, here you go. Here's your stupid money, you scumbag. It's Dragon Balls. Hey, Danny, look, I got two balls. <gasps> you got two balls, Jeffy? Yeah, Danny, the other one finally dropped. Oh, you're talking about these balls. Yeah, I got two Dragon Balls. Well, Jeffy, you only need five more, and then you get your wish. Hey, guys, I found five Dragon Balls. <gasps> you got five Dragon Balls? Well, I got two right here. That's great. That means we have all of them. Now we just got to put them together. Give me your two. No, you give me your five. No, give me your two. No, what if I give you my two, and then you steal my wish again? Look, bro, I'm not going to do that again. I got the two slots right here. Just give me those. No, you give me yours. <sighs> Look, I clearly learned my lesson last time. I'm not going to steal your wish again. Look, how about this? I, I swear on my mother's life, I won't steal your wish. Actually, you know what? I swear on my brother's life, too. And my wife's. My whole family. I swear on all their lives I won't steal your wish again. Okay. <gasps> They're glowing! The dragon's coming! Dragon come, dragon come, let's all make the dragon come. <laughs> hey, Blair! I'm Boofy the Dragon! And because you play with my balls, you get one wish! I wish I had superpowers! You get! Ha <laughs> ha Your wish is my command! <laughs> <sighs> I finally have superpowers! You stole Jeffy's wish again! Yes, I did, because I got five of the seven Dragon Balls, and I think it's only fair that I should get the wish! But, but, but you swore on your family's life! I don't care about my family, they can die for all I care, I have superpowers now! And that means I can finally kick your ass! So take this! Ugh. Ugh. You didn't do the Kamehameha thing. Oh, yes, yes, you're right. Thank you. Kamehameha! What What the hell is that? What What? What? What the hell am I supposed to do with this little tiny baby laser? What? what? Okay, what the hell was that about? You may have powers, but you're not powerful. Take this. Ha! Will Jeffy ever get his wish? Will Brooklyn Guy ever learn to use his powers? Find out next time on Jeffy Ball Z. Oh man, there's
so many dirty dishes. <laughs> Jeffy, stop doing that and help me do the dishes. I don't want to do the dishes, Dad. It's part of your chores. Chores are for whores. Owie. Take these clean dishes and put them in the cabinets over there. All right, well, I'm going to balance them on my head like a fuck. Don't put them on your head, Jeffy. Stop that. You're going to drop them. What? What do you mean, where? I didn't understand the question. It wasn't a question. I said you were going to drop them. How would you know? Are you a psychic? Because I knew if you tried to put them on your head, you were going to drop them. But how did you know? That's it, Jeffy. You have to sweep up all this glass, do the dishes, vacuum, go do all the chores. But that's so many chores. Figure it out. Oh, I guess I'm going to have to find some help. Cody, that's not where the bone goes. Junior, if that's not his dick, what is? You tell me. Hey, guys, can y'all help me do my chores? Chores? We don't want to do your chores, Jeffy. Yeah, I don't feel like being a house nigga today, dude. Well, I wish there were three more of me so they could do my chores and I could just sit around and beat my diaper all day. Wait a minute. Jeffy, why don't we just clone you? What, in Tarnation? You think that's a good idea, dude? Wait, we can just clone Jeffy? How are we going to clone him? With my clone machine that I already have. Oh, yeah, you do have a clone machine. Yeah, let me go get it. All right, there it is, the c c cloning machine. C c cloning machine. C c cloning machine. C c cloning machine. Patent approved. It was pending for years, but the patent finally got approved. So I just get in this and it clones me? Yep, just hop on in. Wait, Cody, why is there a copy of Alvin and the Chipmunks in there? Oh, yeah, sorry about that. I've been cloning copies of Alvin and the Chipmunks to sell online. I didn't know there was a market for it. Oh, yeah, there's a big underground monk market. This movie's a cult classic. People love it. They dress up like the Chipmunks and have watch parties. It's great. Do you really make that much money cloning Alvin the Chipmunks? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I make bank. Oh, uh, wait. Why are you putting it back in there if we're going to be cloning Jeffy? Well, we can get three more Jeffies and three more copies of Alvin and the Chipmunks. All right, Jeffy, get in there. Okay. Yeah, get in there, boy. What was that? I don't know. Just close the door. All right, Junior, it's closed. Oh. It's closed, Junior. Goddamn. I wanted to make sure it was shut. Okay, so now we just have to set it for three because we want three Jeffies. Put it to toast. And now we just wait. <laughs> What the fuck? Uh, what is going on? What the hell, dude? I'm out of here! Well, I can only assume because there was an Alvin and the Chipmunks DVD in there. The DVD's DNA got mixed up with Jeffy's DNA and made Jeffy and the Jeff Monks. Why does this one look like you? I don't know. Maybe some of my dandruff got in there and my DNA got mixed in too. So you guys are like Alvin and the Chipmunks? Yeah! Can you sing like them? Yeah. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. We can only sing public domain songs. Do my chores. We don't do chores. We only sing. The wheels on the bus go round and round. All right, stop, stop, stop. Four Alvin the Chipmunk movies is enough. There was four? Junior, these are the chipmunks from the first movie. They haven't met the Chipettes yet. Who are the Chipettes? No, oh, don't worry. You clapped some chipmunk cheeks in the squeak will. Oh, hell no! All right, guys, let me show you to my daddy. Come on! Okay. Oh, they're so annoying. Hey, daddy! Jeffy, did you do your chores? Not yet. Then go away. You're not allowed to come talk to me till they're done. Hold on, I need to tell you something. What? I don't have to do my chores. Yes, you do! Shut up, I gotta tell you something. What? I don't have to do my chores because I hired someone to do my chores, and they're right there. Hello! Jeffy, what the fuck are those things? Those are the Jeff Monks. So what? It's like Alvin and the Chipmunks, except it's me. Uh, Jeffy, I don't care how, who they are or how they were created. I want them dead. You got to get rid of them. Well, I'm not getting rid of them because they're going to do my chores. I already told you that we don't do chores. We sing. Oh, I want to hear them sing. I don't. All right, guys. Let's go ahead and sing them a song and tell them who we are. That was the worst thing I've ever heard. Oh, I loved it! They should do three more movies! Absolutely not. I want them to leave. I want them to do my chores. I want to sing! Well, you can sing your ass down the road when you leave, because you're getting out of here. But Marvin, they sound so good, and they look so cute. They should record music and stay here. They're not staying here. They're going to leave. I'm hungry. Me too. I want candy. Oh, 
Yay, cookies and ice cream. You're not getting candy or cookies or ice cream. You're getting green beans. Everyone's eating green beans. Well, actually, you're not eating anything because you're leaving. Okay, fine. We we'll leave, but we have a song first. I don't want to hear another one of your high-pitched songs. Come on, boys. Daddy tried to feed me green beans, but I don't know why he has to be so mean. All I wanted was something good to eat, like something nice and sweet. Cookies and candy is what I want, but my daddy is not letting me have my. You just lost your son And it's the chipmunk friends That's right, we're gone That's the reason for this song That's right, we're gone That freaking sucked I liked it, Marvin Can't they stay? No, they're gonna get out right now Run! And you, mister Yes, sir You're gonna do your chores And get them done in five minutes Or you're kicked out, too Whoa, I do my chores God damn it! Marvin, I don't know how you can be so mean Sometimes. Because my ears are ringing from that high pitch annoying song. Come on, guys, let's get out of here. But where will we go? Anywhere but right here. Sounds good to me. I've been working on the railroad all the long day. I have to sign some new talent to my record label quick, but nobody knows how to sing anymore. Think, David Cross, think. Wait, what is that angelic music I hear? I gotta check this out. Marvin, do you hear that? The chipmunks are singing. They better not be on my property. They didn't get out. Get the fuck off my front yard, you annoying chipmunks. Okay, damn. Come on, guys. So, guys, where are we gonna go now? Maybe that random car can pick us up. Hey, where are the us? Hey there, did you guys hear some beautiful sounding music? Yeah, that was us. <laughs> Really? Okay, well, let me hear a tune. Oh, so can you sing? Stop, stop, I've heard enough. You guys are good. Hey, how would you guys like to be billionaires? Okay, yeah. Oh, okay, just hop in. Okay. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay, you guys buckle up back there. So where are we going, Mr. Baldman? Oh, please, call me David Cross or Uncle Ian. Can I call you Daddy? Hmm. Maybe, but we're going on a little road trip. Oh, a road trip? No, I wasn't in that one. Now buckle your goddamn seat belts because we're going to the studio. Okay. <sighs> Those damn chipmunks are singing on the front porch. I told them to get out or I'll call an exterminator. Hey, Daddy. Did you do your chores? Yeah. If I go check, are they done? Well, you'll be disappointed in my effort. What do you mean? Well, let's just say I grabbed the broom and came up here and acted like I did my chores. Go do your chores! Today. But Danny, I can beat Harry Potter in the game of Quidditch. Give me that flying golden ball fuck. Hey, hey, hey. Marvin, look, the news! Everyone be quiet, the news is on. Breaking news, okay? Three chipmunks with human heads are number one on the charts with their new hit song, Daddy is So Mean. You'd be a fool if you had the opportunity to sign them and gave it up. Number one on the charts? We should have kept them! Marvin, I wanted to keep them. You said no because you're a meanie beanie me. I'm not a meanie beanie. I wish we would have kept them because we would have gotten all the millions of dollars from their record sales. Marvin, that's horrible! And now some lucky piece of shit gets to take all their money. Well, Danny, I think we should go save them because they're my kids. <gasps> <laughs> Jeffy's right. They're, they're, they're part of Jeffy, so so that money should be Jeffy's, which is technically mine, because he lives under my roof. So if we go save him, we get the money. Yeah, come on, Danny. Hop on my Nimbus 3000. I'll fly us there. All right, go. <laughs> All right, I think this is David Cross's house. Hello? Amber Tamblin. Oh, well, hey there, fellas. How may I help you tonight? Is your husband David Cross here? Oh. Sure, he's upstairs fiddling with that old piano, don't you know? He stole my rats. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that, young fella. Yeah, can we go up there and speak to him? Oh, sure, come on in. Oh, no, 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 that's not what I meant. 
it's all wrong. I told you, it's get a bucket in a mop for this wet ass pussy. Now do it again and do it correctly. Okay, Uncle Ian. Uh, Mr. David Cross? Hi, that's me, TV's David Cross. How did you get inside my house? Did my wife, Amber Tamblin, let you in? Yes, Miss Tamblin let us in. Yeah, you know, she was in Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants, and now I'm in hers. Did you know she's 19 years younger than me? She was born when I was in college. Anyway, what can I do for you gentlemen? Well, you see these chipmunks right here? Yes, the chipmunks. They're my finest musical accomplishment. You know, I found them on the street when they were begging for scraps, and now they're famous and making me millions. Well, actually, those chipmunks are, they, they, they belong to Jeffy. Yeah, they're my rats. What? You see their heads? It, it looks like Jeffy's. Oh, I guess I do kind of see the resemblance. But still, they signed a lifetime contract. They belong to me. Well, how about you ask them who they want to be with? Hey, you stupid, ugly, dumb rats. Do you want to come home with me and Jeffy and do his chores and not ever sing but make me money? Or do you want to stay here with David Cross and Amber Tamblin? We want to stay here with Uncle Ian and his wife, Miss Tamblin. We love them and they give us all the candy we want. Hey, cookies. Yeah, see, they rather stay with me. So please well, leave my house. Well, we're not going to leave until they come back with us because you're breaking the law. I'm not breaking the law. I legally hired them to sing for me, which they're more than happy to do. So I'm going to have to ask you to leave before I call the police. And they will show up pretty quickly because they know this is David Cross's house. <sighs> All right, Jeffy. They choose to stay with David Cross and Amber Tamblin. We have to get out of here. Okay, I guess we did all we can do. All right, back at it. So Marvin, did you get the chipmunks back? No, they wanted to stay with David Cross and Amber Tamblin. Well, maybe you shouldn't have been so mean to them, meanie beanie. All I wanted them to do was record music for me so I could make millions of dollars off of them. Marvin, it's wrong to use them for money. That's what David Cross is doing. So do I still have to do my chores? Yes, you have to do your chores! Ah! 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 Now would you pull at me? Ow! Jeffy, grab him. Let's go. Uh, booger, no bite in the pillow, okay? Oh, just bit me. Booger, stop he it right me. now. Oh, oh, he just bit me. Marvin, what's gotten into Booger? He's been destroying everything lately. Oh, I don't know. He just bit me. We should call a vet and see if he has mad cow disease. Um, Daddy, Booger's not a cow. Well, I know, Jeff. I just want to make sure he doesn't have rabies. I'm calling a vet. Hey there. Somebody call a vet on his lunch break? See the chicken leg? I put this chicken down an hour ago. The family's still crying, but I told him, don't worry. Mr. Cluckins is delicious. So what do you want? So, vet... Do I call you vet? I don't know. Can I call you unemployed bald man? Well, listen, look, I have this pet dinosaur and he won't stop destroying stuff and acting crazy. We don't know why he's acting like that. Uh-huh. Well, I'm not an expert, but it seems to me like he's a dinosaur and that's just what dinosaurs do. But I, I want him to act like a house cat, you know? I want him just to lay around and sleep. Well, you know what they say. You can't turn a whore into a housewife, so why would you be able to turn a dinosaur into a house cat? I, I think that's how the saying goes. Look, my main point is my first wife was a whore. Marvin, maybe Booger's lonely and we should get him another dinosaur friend. Oh yeah, two dinosaurs. That seems like a good idea. You know, because the first dinosaur is destroying everything. So yeah, a second dinosaur should even things out. This is turning into Jurassic Park. Well, baby, I don't even know where we would get another pet dinosaur from. Well, I guess you could always get a portal gun that'll open a portal through time and then just grab a dinosaur out of the past. But I don't know where you'd get one of those, so don't even ask me. Yeah, baby, I don't know what we're going to do. You know, actually, my great-grandfather was a tinkerer. He would tinker from time to time. And I think one time he tinkered up a portal gun like that. I think I have it laying around the attic somewhere. So can we have it? Mm, I guess I can take a look for it. Here, hold my chicken leg. Ooh. Don't bite it. It's mine. All right, I'm back. Behold, Ow! the Portal Gun 5000. This bad boy can open up a portal to any place and any time, but it doesn't have very much juice left. I think we only have one shot at this. Okay, so what's the plan? Okay, the plan is I'm going to open up a portal up there. Then we're going to take some kind of food and tie a string to it and throw it through the portal and go fishing for a dinosaur. Why don't we use your chicken leg? Oh, I wanted that. Okay. Hey, lady woman. Um, Rose? No, that's a kind of flower. Okay, what you're going to do is tie a string to that chicken leg. 
right now? No, two years from now. Go! Fine! Really? You picked her to be your wife? What's the rest of the plan? Okay, so what we're gonna do is whenever she gets back eventually with my chicken leg with a string on it, we're gonna throw it through the portal, and whenever we feel a tug on the string, we know a dinosaur's biting it, then we just yank the dinosaur through the portal. Why don't we just go in the portal and grab the dinosaur ourselves? Are you kidding me? I don't want to go back to dinosaur times. It's scary. What if we get stuck there? There's no McDonald's or Hulu. Okay, your plan's good. Okay, good. Where's my goddamn chicken leg? It's right here. Okay, good. You hold on to that. Ugh. Okay, let's make this portal. Everybody stand back. <laughs> oh, bugger, come back! Oh, cool, it actually worked. All right, throw the chicken leg in it. Okay, give it to me. Okay. Give it to okay. me. Okay. All right, now we just have to wait for something to pull on the string. Whoa, whoa, that's a big one. Oh, man, whatever dinosaur this is must love chicken. Whoa, Marvin, he's fighting me. Help me. Uh, 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 he's pulling really hard. Yeah, I know. The way he's pulling, you'd think he was my ex-wife. You know, because she's fat and she loves food. Oh, uh, uh, where'd he go? Ooh, 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 that chicken was good. He can talk? Huh, I guess when scientists found dinosaur fossils, they didn't find out if they could talk or not. Can you guys please give me some old chicken? Please. Well, you're hungry? Oh, I'm so hungry. All I've had today is a Happy Meal. A Happy Meal? So they did have McDonald's back then. I guess we can go to KFC or Popeyes. <gasps> oh, the KFC or the Popeyes! Yeah, but the reason we brought you here is because we have another dinosaur that we want you to hang out with. Oh, is it my cousin Pookie? Because his ass only five hours. I... I don't know if it's a Pookie, but, but Booker, get in here! <laughs> oh, here go, Pookie ass! You owe me five <laughs> Oh, don't you run away from me, Pookie! You know you owe me money! Uh oh, so, so that is Pookie? Yeah, that Pookie right there. Uh, okay, well look, how about we'll go get you some KFC or some Popeyes, and you can eat that, but we need you to hang out with Booger and teach him how to act right, okay? I ain't no babysitter unless you're gonna pay me some money! Oh, uh, we'll pay you in chicken, so... Oh, okay! So All you right. teach Booger how to act normal, and I'm gonna go get you some chicken. All right. Uh, okay, well, I did everything I came here to do, so I guess I'm just gonna take my tinker gun and go home. All right, I got you a big bucket of KFC chicken. Ooh, thank you so much. You're so good to me. What's your name is, white boy? My name's Marvin. Oh, Marvin the Chicken Man. What's your name? My name is your boy Dougie. Dougie? No, your boy Dougie. I have to say the your boy part every time? Yeah, or else I ain't gonna know who you're talking to. All right, your boy Dougie. This is your bucket of chicken. Oh, my chicken. Thank you so much. You got anything to drink? Uh, yeah, let me see what I got. All right, the only thing we had to drink was grape Kool-Aid. Oh, the Kool-Aid! Is it good? Yeah, it's good. I mean, I don't know. Look at the ingredients and see if there's anything you don't like. Ribble flat bills. How about I make you a glass of it? All right. All right, here's your glass of water. Wait, wait a minute! You already ate all the chicken? Yeah, because it was really good. Can I please get some more chicken? Maybe try the Popeyes. Well, no, you're not getting any more chicken. You still gotta have some Kool-Aid. Oh, that purple is Kool-Aid! Yeah, I'm gonna pour some in the cup. All right. All right, now, drink that. Oh, that was so good. Can I have some more? Well, you haven't finished the glass yet. But I still want you to put a little bit more Kool-Aid in there. Oh, you want more Kool-Aid? Yeah. All right, that's enough. Can you put a little bit more in there? Well, I don't want to overflow it. Well, I want you to do what Olive Garden does when they put the cheese on the salad. I'll tell you when to stop. Oh, okay. Keep going. Keep going. Okay, this seems like it's a lot. No, please keep going. Oh, okay. I, I, I don't think I don't think we should put any more. No, keep going. I ain't tell you to stop yet. Uh, I don't want it. It's gonna, it's overflowing. It, All right, that's good. Okay, that's good. All right, yeah. there you go, your boy Dougie. Uh, There's your Kool Aid. Thank you so much. Now I'm gonna go get Booger, so or or your your cousin Pookie. Just don't make a mess. But Booger, stop it! All right, your boy Dougie, can you please stop Booger from being a bad dinosaur? How's I supposed to do that? I don't know, he destroys stuff and I want him to stop it. I mean, I could try. Hey, stop it. <laughs> well, I've done all I could do. Hey, Marvin, you mind if I get some more purple Kool-Aid and some fried chickens? No, no more Kool-Aid and fried chicken until we stop Booger from being bad. Hey, Danny, can I play Call of Duty? But no, Jeffy. No Call of Duty until you finish your chores. Well, I don't want to do my chores. Go do your chores, Jeffy. Aw, what's a Call of Duty? It's a video game that Jeffy plays, like a shooting game. Well, can I try to play it? I mean, are you a dinosaur? Can you even play it? I mean, I could try. Bah, bah. Oh, oh, look, I'm so good at the game! Bah, 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 bah. We really need to focus on Booger. Marvin, can I please have the map pack? What, how much are the map packs? $20 plus tax and fees. Ugh. Look, here's my wallet. All I want you to do is grab my credit card out of it, and all you can do is buy the map packs. Do not buy anything else but the map packs. You hear me? 
Okay, you can trust me. All right, Booker. <laughs> I'm about to go shopping, boy. I'm about to give me some new shoes. I'm about to give me a chain. I'm about to give me a hat. <laughs> Your boy, Dougie, don't take his wallet. Uh, Booker, stay still. Stay still. Ow, oh, he just bit me. Oh, Booker, I'm looking clean, boy. What? Your boy, Dougie. Huh? Well, where'd you get all this stuff? Your wallet. What? My wallet? Well, how much were those shoes? 500. What? 500 what? Dollars. What? 500 dollars? How much was that chain? Three stacks. Three stacks? Like Oreos, double stuff. Well, I told you only to buy the map packs. Oh, I forgot about the map packs. Well, let me get those real quick. No, 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 you gotta go. Where, where are we going? No, no, not where are we going, where you're going. You're going back to prehistoric times. I don't wanna leave here. I get fried chicken, I get Call of Duty, and I get purple as Kool Aid. Yeah, but you overstayed your welcome. You're supposed to help with Booger. Oh, you need help with the Booger? Yeah. Here, get that Booger out. But no, no, the, the dinosaur. Oh, you mean Pookie Ratchet ass? Pookie, get in here, boy. <laughs> Man, stop being a dickhead! Whoa. I did what I could do. Well, no, 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 I am calling the vet, you're going back! Hey there, you call me back? Ask me about the bacon. Why do you have bacon? I just put down Porky Pig, so bidi bidi bidi, that's all, folks. Well, listen, I want the second dinosaur to leave. Oh, how about that? The second dinosaur was a bad idea. Who could have seen that coming? Well, listen, this dinosaur's not destroying stuff, he's just spending my money and mooching off me. Yeah, it sounds like my first wife. So, look, I want him to go, so can you, like, grab that portal gun, make a portal, and we throw him back? You know, what we should have done is done that to begin with and have no dinosaurs, because dinosaurs shouldn't be pets. Okay, yeah, you know, if you make a portal, I'll throw both dinosaurs in the portal, and we won't have any more dinosaurs. Okay, well, lucky for you, I already brought my portal gun because I thought this might happen. All right, so, so make the portal. Everybody stand back! It, it's, it's not working. Well, shake it till something comes out. It's not my wiener. That's, that's an old vet joke. I'll try again. Nope, nothing's happening. I think it's out of juice. Well, we'll tinker with it. Make, make something happen. Hey, I'm not the tinkerer my great-grandfather was. I can't just tinker a, a portal gun like this, okay? Well, tink of something. <laughs> That's a good one. But no, really, I can't fix this. What, so I'm stuck with him? Yeah, it looks like it. Ooh, where am I going to sleep? Well, no, no, can I take him to, like, the pound or, like, like let him loose outside? No, 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 no. If anybody found out what we were doing here, I'm pretty sure the CIA would kill us. Dinosaurs are not supposed to be here. And, and besides, you can't just let him loose in the wild. What if he mates with a goose or something? You have, like, a dino goose. Nobody wants that. Okay, so I have to stick with it. He has to stay here? Yeah, at least until we make another portal gun. <sighs> okay, your boy Dougie, you get to stay here, but there's gonna be some rules. Okay, what type of rules? Alright, well, you're gonna help with Booger every day. What? No more tissue box, no boogers, your stupid dumb cousin Pookie. Okay, well, I ain't doing nothing for Pookie until he give me my five dollars. Oh, okay, I'll get you your five dollars, okay? That's fine. So, so, what do dinosaurs eat? Um, people. Okay, yeah, you know, how about you just eat chicken every day? Would that be good? Okay, I love me some KFC, and I love me some Kool-Aid. Okay, so you get chicken and Kool-Aid, but you'll help with Booger, I mean Pookie, mm -hmm. every day. So, mm -hmm. thank you, Vet, thank you for trying. Can you just see if you can get the portal gun to work in the future? I, I guess I'll try. Well, baby, it looks like we have two dinosaurs. At least Pookie has a friend. Well, don't call him Pookie! Oh, Marvin, I still need the Matt Pep. <sighs> Finally get a day to just sit back, relax, and not go anywhere. Come on, Marvin, we're all going to the beach. What? The beach? Yes, the beach. It'll be fun. Yeah, Daddy, I'm a swimming whale poop. I don't want to go to the beach. It's hot and sandy. I don't like it. But, Marvin, it's a beautiful day out. We need to be outside. No, I don't want to go. And, Daddy, I'm also going to tan my beach balls. Well, I'm not going. You guys go. I'm going to stay here. No, we're all going, Marvin. You're being a stupid beach. Very mature. Come on. <sighs> Marvin, isn't the beach so nice? No, I hate it. It's hot. I want to go home. Marvin, stop whining. Just try to relax. Hey, Dan, can you help me build a sandcastle? No, I don't want to play in the sand. I don't want to get all sandy. Marvin, go build a sandcastle with Jeffy. I don't want to. Well, can I go play in your water? No, Jeffy, you might drown. Marvin, let him have some fun. Yes, Jeffy, you can go swimming. Just don't go out too far. Yay! Can we go home yet? No, Marvin, we just got here. <sighs> I just lay on the towel. Water? Ah! Scary water? Ah! 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 Help! Ah! See, Marvin, isn't this relaxing? Yeah, I guess it is. Ah! Ah! Jiffy? Ah! Marvin, Jiffy's drowning! Oh, I don't know what to do! Marvin, go save him! I don't know what to do! Go I, help! Uh, 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 I, 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 don't, I don't know! Huh? 
Someone needs help? <laughs> I got you, bro. Ugh, don't worry, I got you. I'm not gonna let you drown. Oh my god! Thank you for saving him! We're not out of the woods yet. <laughs> breathe, damn it, breathe! <laughs> <laughs> oh, you saved my life, mister! Oh, thank you for saving our son! Yeah, it's what I do. Wait, Brad? W Rose? I haven't seen you in forever! What, you know each other? Yeah, he's one of my exes, Marvin! You didn't tell me about Brad! Yeah, he was not important enough to come up! Hey, what's up, man? My name's Brad, with a big D at the end. Because when a girl goes on a date with me, that's what she gets at the end. A big D. Well, it was nice to meet you, Brad. Thanks for saving our son. Let's go. No, Marvin, wait. We should do something nice. We should invite him to dinner. We don't have to do anything nice for him. He's a lifeguard. He's supposed to save people. Well, I'm actually not a lifeguard. I was just laying on the beach, working on my perfect tan, and I saw that kid needed help, so I just did what any good person would do. Well, that's nice. That's really nice, Brad. So we're going to leave now. No, Marvin, we have to thank him. We don't have to thank him. Brad, come to dinner tonight. Okay. Okay, but I'm pescatarian, so I only eat fish. But you know that, wouldn't you, Rose? Blah, blah, blah. He likes salmon. Oh, okay, well, that's real nice. All right, well, we're gonna leave. Right, come on, Jeffy. Jeffy, I'm so glad you're okay. I can't believe you invited your ex to dinner. Wow, thanks for caring, Daddy. Marvin, he saved Jeffy's life. Who cares? Again, thanks for caring, Daddy. Well, you didn't save him, Marvin. I would have if I would have had a swimming suit on. I had this outfit on. Your only outfit? Yeah, and to be fair, Daddy, you did wear a tie to the beach. I didn't want to go to the beach. You literally dragged me there. Marvin, we're going to thank him and cook him a nice dinner. I'm not cooking him dinner. I'm not doing anything for that weirdo. Well, fine. Chef Pee Pee will do it then. Chef Pee Pee? Yes, Chef Pee Pee. I I already paid him. You paid Chef Pee Pee to cook dinner for him? Yes, Marvin. We don't have much, but we can thank him over a nice dinner. Why do we have to thank him? I'm sure you thanked him enough when y'all dated. How'd you even meet the guy anyway? I was in California at the Santa Monica Pier, and we hooked up a couple of times. Jesus. A couple times? I was young, Marvin. It didn't mean anything. <laughs> if it didn't mean anything, then why, did, why is saving Jeffy meaning something to you? Like, don't talk to the guy. Like, I don't like him. Uh, you don't have to like him, Marvin, but we do have to thank him over a nice dinner. Why does it have to be a dinner? Why can't we write him a letter? You want to write him a letter. Yeah, I'll write him two letters. F you. Marvin! Oh, that's a good one, Daddy. Give me four fingers. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. that was smooth. Go downstairs and help Chef Pee Pee cook the dinner. Oh, I'll help all right. Oh, I'll, I'll do stuff to the food. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm -mm, this looks delicious. Hey, Chef Pee Pee, my wife said you're cooking dinner. Oh, yeah, I just got done. Wait, this looks amazing. I know. Thank you. What are you doing? What? Is it not supposed to look good? No, my wife's inviting her ex-boyfriend over for dinner. Oh, with her ex? Oh, why don't you just break up with her? Well, her ex kind of saved Jeffy's life. He was drowning and she wants to make it up to him by bringing him over for dinner. Oh, well, that makes sense. Well, I thought you sucked at cooking. I thought you made disgusting food. Well, not when I'm getting paid. And your wife paid me $20, so I went all out. Well, I'll pay you 20 extra more dollars to spit in the food. Like, I want you to do gross things to it. Like, when, when he eats his food, I want him to throw up. Like, when he sees his food, I want him to never want to come back ever again. That's how gross I want to be. Oh, you want me to go all out? Yeah, I want you to ruin this food. Okay, let's start with this. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh, let's rub it all over the toilet. Yeah, 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 yeah. grab the salmon, grab oh, the yeah. salmon. All right, Marvin, I'm gonna clean the toilet with the salmon. Do it, do it, do it. <laughs> oh, that's so gross. I know, I know. Oh, that's disgusting. Ooh, ooh watch this. Whoops! <laughs> Oh, that's so hilarious. Oh, this is gross. Oh, oh, step out so I can use the bathroom. Oh, okay. <laughs> Ooh. Hey, Marvin, let's put the shrimp in this litter box. Oh, that's disgusting. Let's do it. <laughs> Isn't this the most diabolical, disgusting, horrible meal you've ever seen? Yeah. Ooh, oh, it makes me want to throw up. Oh, yeah. That guy's definitely not going to want your wife after he eats this. Oh, yeah, definitely not. He's going to take one bite. He's going to run away and never talk to her again. Oh, yeah, definitely. Okay, I'm going to go tell my wife that dinner's ready. So uh, just make something normal for me and my wife, okay? Okay. Are you going to pay me for that, too? <sighs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, baby. Dinner is ready. Wow, Marvin, you seem to be in a good mood. Yeah, I realized I was being stupid, getting mad that your ex-boyfriend's coming over for dinner. Well, I'm glad you've matured, Marvin. Yeah. Who's that? That's probably Brad. Ugh, let's answer the door. Okay. Hello? Hi, Brad. What's up? Thank you so much for coming to dinner. Thanks for not wearing a shirt. Oh, I don't believe in shirts. I just feel like they constrict me, and I gotta be free, you know? He's a free spirit. You know? Did you have to bring a surfboard to dinner? Oh, yeah. You never know when a gnarly wave's gonna rip by. And also, it's basically a part of my body. Like, literally, help. It's fused with my hand. Help. Well... Come inside. That's what she said. 
to me. <laughs> Just shut up and come inside. So, like I mentioned at the front door, this surfboard is stuck to my hand, so please help me. Mm-mm-mm, doesn't this food look good, Bradley? Uh, my name's actually Brad, with a big D at the end, because when I take girls on dates... I know, you already explained it. Just look at the food. Aw, Chef Pee-Pee made me a salad. So, Brad, what do you do for a living? Bro, I live for a living. You don't have a job? <laughs> no. Wow, baby, it sounds like you dated a total bum. Well, actually, Marvin, Brad's family is very wealthy. Yeah, have you heard of the Shell Gap? stations? Yeah. Yeah, well my family invented those. Check the necklace. Your family invented the Shell gas station? Yeah, so I'm loaded like a big potato. <laughs> so all I do all day is just surf, look at beautiful chicks, and beg people to help me with this surfboard that's stuck to my hand. Please help me someone. Well, I think it's time for us to eat because I'm as hungry as a shark. You know, I got bit by a shark one time. Really? Yeah, at the aquarium petting zoo. I punched him right in the nose, because that's how you deal with sharks, in case you didn't know. You're so brave! Yeah, I kept all its teeth on a necklace back home. I got it at the gift shop. I can give you one if you want, but I only give it to people I really care about. Well, I think we should focus on eating. Let's dig in. Yeah, unfortunately, I am left-handed. And like I said, I have this surfboard stuck to my hand, so please, dear God, someone help me. Well, you can just, like, you know, eat with your face like a little piggy, like a little dirty pig boy. Like a little, like a little stinky pig boy. Yeah, I, I guess I'll, I guess I'll do that. How, how is it, Brad? Bradley? Brad! 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 Bradifer? Uh, oh no, baby, I think he's dead. Oh no! Oh, no, 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 calm down. Just, just hold on. Like, hold on. I'm gonna call a doctor and let me, let me talk to Chef Bibi. Uh, Chef Bibi, Chef Bibi. Hold on, hold on. Let me guess, Marvin. <laughs> he hated it. No, 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 no. He had a stomach ache and pooped everywhere. No, he threw up and pooped. No, no, no. He ran out of the house crying like a little baby. <laughs> no, he's dead. What? He's dead. The food. No, no, he died from eating the food. We killed him. No, we didn't kill him. No, we just made the food dirty. You know, whatever we did poisoned him, and now he's dead, and we're gonna go to jail. No, we're not going to jail. I'm not going to jail for your relationship issues. My booty's too tight for that. Oh, my, my, my wife wants me to call a doctor. What do we do? Look, look, look. I'm gonna dress up like a doctor, and I'm gonna just tell her that everything's fine. He's just sleeping or something like that, and then we're gonna bury the body. Oh, I, I like that idea. That's a really smart idea. I love okay. that. Yeah, yeah. I'm very smart. I know oh, what I'm doing. Oh, okay, get a doctor outfit. Okay. <laughs> Uh, yeah, he should be here any moment. Hey, 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 uh, did somebody call a doctor? Yes, doctor, he choked and I think he's dead. Oh, no, he can't be dead. No, 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 not from eating all this good food. He's probably just sleeping with his eyes open. Yeah, crazy kid. Let me check his pulse. Oh, no, <gasps> Marvin, he's dead. He doesn't have a pulse. I know that, just lie to her. <gasps> Is he dead? Oh no, he's not dead. He's just sleeping with his eyes open. Yeah, some people fall asleep after eating good food. He's just in a, a food coma. That's what they call it. Oh, I think I've heard of those before. <laughs> yeah, 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 food coma. Yeah, yeah, so doctor, what would you suggest we do with the sleeping body? Uh, oh, we should drag the sleeping body to bed. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so, so we're gonna take the body and put it in bed. You just finish your salad, baby. Okay. Oh, come on, doctor, <laughs> hurry, hurry, hurry. <laughs> All right, Muffin, let's get rid of this body. Muffin? Oh yeah, you know I love that mustache, baby. No, 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 I gotta fight these urges. We gotta focus on the body. Yeah, the body first. So how we get rid of the body? You said we were gonna bury it. No, we can't bury it. The police dog can sniff out the body and, and, and dig up the body and we'll get caught. Oh, okay, we, we gotta think of another way to get rid of the body. Uh, uh, have you seen Breaking Bad? Yeah, I seen Breaking Bad. Yeah, they put the body in the bathtub and then they pour the acid over it so it eats up the body. Oh, that's genius. Yeah, there, there'll be no proof and there'll be no evidence and then the cops can't find him. Oh yeah, well, let's do that, let's do that. Get the acid. Okay, I'll get the acid. You take the body in the bathtub. Okay. All right, I got the acid. Body decomposing acid? Where did you even buy this? They sell it at Home Depot in the I don't want to get caught section. And you actually bought it? Well, I use cash. There's no trace. Okay, good, good. No trace. I like that. All right, so I'm going to put the body in the bathtub and you're going to pour the acid on it, all right? Okay. All right, let's do that. Ooh, who's that? I don't know. Let's answer it. Okay. Hello? Hey. Oh, no. The cops. They must have found out about Brad's body. Ah! Hey. What was that? What was what? That that thing you just did. Uh, oh, that was our secret handshake. Yeah, handshake. You guys didn't touch hands. Usually handshakes have hand touching at least. Oh, oh no, no, we don't do that. That's it's that, germs. It's that, germs. That, that, yeah, yeah. You know, you know the pandemic's going on. Right. 
Yeah. Yeah. So what are you doing here? Well, I'm looking for a guy named Brad. I don't know a guy no, named Brad. Don't know no, Brad. No, I don't know Brad. Brad do, you, do, do you know Brad? No, I don't know a Brad. No, I don't know a Brad either. I, I, I know it's just a chef. I know a Chad, I think. Mm-hmm. Chad. You know, you two are the definition of suspicious. Suspicious. <laughs> don't get to fight these urges. What? What was that? No. Uh, no, no, nothing. Nothing. No, we don't know a Brad. You should. Nope, uh, you should yeah, you should ask the neighbors if they've seen Brad. Mm -hmm. Well, I did, and they said they saw Brad come here earlier today. They, they did. did. Okay, stop. Stop doing that. I don't like that. Well, look, look we have not seen Brad, and and it's, it's like it hasn't been seventy-two hours, has it? So he can't, he can't have a missing person report. Yeah. Yeah, but his family's rich, and they put a tracker in his surfboard, and it says that he's in here. <sighs> Okay, fine. He's here. He's sleeping in the bathtub. What are you doing? Oh, I know what I'm doing. Yeah, he's in the bathtub. Wait, why is he in your bathtub? He just wanted to take a nap, so he just wanted to chill. So, so just chill, homie. What? Uh, okay, I'm gonna search the house. Oh, no, hold on, hold on. Okay. So uh, when the cop comes in the house, hit him over the head with a rolling pin. All right, gotcha. Excuse me? Did you just fart? Wait, no, no. I heard what you just said. What would I say? You told him to hit me in the head with a rolling pin. No, I didn't. Oh, see, that's just a, a figure of speech. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. In my house. Uh, that hit him in the head with a rolling pin means offer him a drink. Yeah, yeah. Are you thirsty? Yeah. What kind of uh, flavor rolling pin would you like? Uh, yeah, yeah. What rolling pin? Mm -hmm. I don't want a rolling pin. I don't want a tall glass of rolling pin. I just want to go find Brad. So you two are going to stay in front of me the whole time. What? Oh, he just wants to look at her booties. Oh, weirdo. Yeah, he's a little, he's a little butt boy. N no, I'm not a butt boy. Look, look, shut up. I don't want to hear a word out of either of you. Show me Brad. Uh, okay. <sighs> All right, officer. Here's Brad. Huh. Body decomposing acid. What do you need that for? Uh, well, you see, uh, I was shaving in the bathtub, and my hair got caught in the drain. And the people at Home Depot said uh, to use body decomposing acid to get the hair out of the drain because it can decompose bodies. And there's hair on bodies, and the hair from my body is, is what clogged the drain. Yeah, yeah, that thick mustache hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that, that's what I was going to use that for. Really? Because there's a body right there next to the body decomposing acid. That's not a body, that's Brad. Yeah, that's just Brad. Yeah, yeah, he's sleeping. Yeah, doing Brad stuff. Yeah, he looks like he's sleeping with his eyes open and a shrimp in his mouth. What, you never been in a food coma, sir? Yeah, a food, a food coma? Well, no, actually I haven't because my wife doesn't cook good enough for that to happen. Oh, uh, well, uh... He did it! No, no he did it! No, 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 Hey, 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 you both had something to do with this, so you're both going to jail. Oh, come on, I don't want to go to jail, I'm dirty in there. Them, so that's what happens. What, uh, hold on, he's not dead. Well, he's, not, he's not? No, he has a very light pulse. Well, well, you can still save him? Yeah, let me just uh, get my doctor outfit on, drag him upstairs, and do CPR. Well, no, do, do it right here. No, 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 it's, it's gotta be upstairs. No, 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 do it right here. Oh, bring up stairs, bring up stairs. All right. All right, Doc, we have him on the couch. All right, I got my outfit on. I'm ready to do some CPR. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Ew, there's a shrimp in the way. I don't like shrimp. All right, let's get that out of there. <laughs> He's breathing. <laughs> uh, oh, hey, oh, I have a really bad shellfish allergy. What, you have a shellfish allergy? I thought you were a pescatarian. Well, yeah, but not that pesky. What? Oh, wow, I guess you guys aren't going to jail after all. We're not oh, going to jail. I'm free. Hey Marvin, is Brad okay? Yeah, I'm okay, babe. He has a shellfish allergy. Well, wow. Hey, since there's a doctor here, hey doc, you think you could take this surfboard off my hand? It's like stuck there and it's ruining my life. Please dear God, help me. All right, you folks have a nice night.
La vida es un río siempre fluyendo Con cada cambio seguimos creciendo A veces es calma, a veces tormentan cada, cada giro de la vida nos enfrenta Cambiando con la vida Como las hojas al viento Encontrando nuestro camino En cada momento, momento A través de las sesiones a través del tiempo, cambiando con la vida, en su eterno movimiento. Eh, oh, oh, oh. Cada amanecer trae una nueva oportunidad, de dejar atrás el miedo, de buscar la verdad, con cada paso da. Un lugar de 
alegría. 